What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Kayla. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, my camera is acting a little funny today. She doesn't want to focus on me, so I'm sorry, but you may have to be squinting for this period of time. Anyways, today is a good day because it's vlog day and it's leg day and it's new gym day. We are going to DMV Iron today up in Alexandria, Virginia. I There's three different locations. The one I'm going to have already been to. There's one in Alexandria, one in Falls Church, and one somewhere up there in Maryland. Um, we're going to the Alexandria. It's one today. One, because I've been there before, and two, Falls Church is like 12 more minutes of a drive in. I just want to save that for another day and I'm not really feeling that extra 12 minutes because it's already like a 30 minute drive so recently I have switched up my program a little bit so before I was doing like a full quad day and then one glutes and hamstrings workout but now I have kind of split it up again and I'm focusing more on my glutes and more on my hamstrings. So I do one quads and glute focus day and then one glute and hamstring focus day. Anyways, I'm gonna fix up my hair. My eco styler is gone. There's nothing in here, but that is cool. I'm gonna do what I can. Just lick. Recently, I haven't been doing my swoops. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it today, though. I'm honestly so over my hair. Uh, I'm also gonna put on mascara because I just realized I forgot. Um, just a little bit of the lash, because why not? Let's go pick out our gym fit. Well, actually, I already picked it out last night. Pro tip, Bobby. Saves you more time in the morning. We got a dark sport fit. What's new? That. These shorts. And look, he this the shirt. We got this gigantic wolf shirt. So let's see how she looks on. Ooh. I love a good oversized tee. I mean, it's cute. I don't know if I love, like, this is pattern and this also has, like, this pattern going on. I don't know. I could wear these. These honestly go a little bit better. They all have this lipstick stain on them, so. In the car now. Good to go. Ooh, sometimes I feel like I'm taking, I just take entirely way too long to get ready for the gym. Normally it takes me, like, an hour to do, like, makeup and hair, eat, um, you know, bathroom stuff, journal, make my bed, all that good stuff. And then for some reason, 30 minutes later, I'm still at home. She's like, babe, let's go. 30-ish, 30 minute drive, which is not too bad because it's on the highway. Really, the only reason that drive is so long is because of freaking traffic. All right, see you guys there. All right, I am here. I just chugged my pre-workout and it's time to go hit glutes and hammy all right so i'm starting off this exercise with hip thrust this is a good compound movement for the lower body as you can see here i'm just starting off with the bar to get my glutes and hams warmed up it kind of looks like i'm hyper extending my back i promise i'm not but i do think i should have moved the bench to be placed a little bit better but for this, I'm just warming up with the bar, making sure that I'm going through the full range of motion. This is after I did my dynamic stretches, which I did not record, but I'll do about a five to 10 minute warm up of dynamic stretching. This is me checking to see that the bar was actually not 20 kilograms, but it was only 15 kilograms, which was a little bit lighter, but it was fine. I just went with it. The next part of this workout is just another warm-up set so i'll do normally two warm-up sets with some ridiculously light weight as you can see here 
Again, just focusing on getting my glutes and hams nice and warmed up. So the key with hip thrust is that you want to keep your shins vertical to really target the glutes. If you put your knees too close to your butt, you're more targeting the quads. If you put your feet too far away, you're going to target the hamstrings a lot more. So you want that nice 90 degree angle. Now for this, as you can see, I've just shot the weight right up and we went straight up into two plates on each side for hip thrust doing full ROM. So I did two sets for as many reps as possible. I normally do two working sets to failure on a lot of my compound exercises. This right here is my second set. Again, focusing on full ROM, focusing on getting those glutes and hams nice and fired up. And as you can see here, you're gonna see me go to mechanical failure while I cannot get it up anymore. And so I'm done with this exercise. Just kidding, I'm not. I decided to rep it out. I took off one plate on each side and I just decided to do a drop set to failure. This really got the glutes and hams. Ooh, really did what it had to do. And as you can see, I'm just getting less and less. I'm getting more and more fatigued as the time goes on. And so then I was done with this exercise after that. And then I moved on into RDLs. I prefer right now to do to do deficit stiff leg RDLs. As you can see, there is little knee flexion or knee bend. This puts a lot more emphasis on the hamstrings coupled with the fact that I'm doing this in a deficit, which means that I'm standing on a plate and I'm going to basically almost the floor. And so this really hits the hamstrings nice and well. And then I'll superset this with a single leg RDL. This one obviously has a little bit more knee bend because it is unilateral, because I'm also trying to be stable and balanced. And then I'll couple this with a nice knee drive to, I don't know, feel more athletic. <laughs> so that is a nice little single leg RDL that I'll do. I'll make the kettlebells hit the floor. I did this with kettlebells. Sometimes I'll do this with a barbell. I'll sometimes do this with one singular dumbbell. It really just depends on how I'm feeling. <laughs> As you can see, my hammies are really being targeted here. I think that my hammies are kind of like a weak spot in my physique, that along with my adductors. So I really just want to put as much stretch as possible, as much stress as possible on them during these type of lifts. As you can see here, my hammies look really good though. Let's be real. I put on straps to help with my grip strength because in the first set my grip was kind of failing me and I just felt like it was not doing the hammies justice. With these stiff leg RDLs, I also put on my belt because you are going to feel it a bit in your lower back because you're doing such an extreme range of motion that you're going beyond what is normal for a regular RDL, especially with the deficit. And again, I'm just doing my super set, I did three sets of 12 on each exercise for each super set set. <laughs> so I did three sets of 12 each for a total. So I did three sets of 12 for each exercise and then I moved on to deficit reverse lunges. This type of deficit is going to target the glutes a little bit more. I also coupled the reverse lunge with a nice little knee drive. I don't know, I just... I kind of like the knee drive. It helps with my balance and stability and it just makes it a little bit more challenging. And what we're trying to do in exercises like these and workouts like these is really push yourself. I'm making sure that I'm really getting that nice mind muscle connection, really um, pushing through my heel and up to really focus on the glutes. So for these, I did three sets of 10 to 12 and for every set I went up in weight. And then after this, I went into a leg curl. So this is an isolation movement for the hamstrings. In my opinion, this is so much harder than a regular hamstring curl. One, because it's just one leg. And two, I don't know, maybe because you're standing or the position, but it just really puts that nice stretch on the hammies and really challenges the hamstrings. So I did these for as many reps as possible. I think it only, only came out to about eight or 10 each side because that's how weak my hamstrings are. Um, but it's okay, you know, I tried, which is a nice little leg curl. And then after this, I did the other leg. Oh, let's just do a nice little zoom in on my hamstrings right there. Wow. 
for this one you want to focus on that nice stretch at the bottom for some of these reps you can see that i was a little tiny bit rushing through the movement but then i slowed it down to make sure that i was really focusing on the hamstrings getting that weight up and as you can see here this is to failure this is me trying not to sacrifice form um, but i kind of end up doing it anyways just to get that weight up and I let the weight go, and then I went into my last exercise, which is another isolation exercise, which are glute medius kickbacks. So as you can see, I structure my leg workouts like most people. I start with compound movements. I'll do one to two compound movements, and then I'll do one to two unilateral exercises, and I'll do one to two isolation exercises. Because this is a leg day, and I really want to grow my legs, I'm normally doing two of each. And so these are glute medius kickbacks. You want to kick back at a 45 degree angle. And you want to make sure that you're focusing at the squeeze at the top and you're not rushing through the movement. Just like with any other exercise, you don't want to rush through the movement. I'm also making sure that I'm sweeping my leg. Sweeping my leg in front of the non-working leg. And then I just finished off with some calf raises. I did two sets of 15 weighted i did these with i did toes pointed out and toes pointed in for my calf raises and then i supersetted these with just toes pointed out body weight calf raises you and i can both tell that my calves are a little bit baby which is kind of ridiculous because i'm filipino and calves kind of run in our jeans i need to start working on my calves more so here is me doing that i try to do these body weight without holding on to anything to make it a little bit more challenging and to really put emphasis and stretch on those calves as you can see here and then that was the workout all right, well, I hope you guys liked that little workout voiceover and I explained it really well. The workout is done. I was in there for one hour and 45 minutes, which is typical, but I didn't even do cardio. Normally I'm in the gym for two hours max. Um, I don't know. I was in there for a while. I did four sets, three, four sets. I just did a lot. It took me quite some time, but it's cool about to drink my fair life protein shake uh, normally a day pass costs 25 dollars but when i walked in there there was nobody at the front desk so it was for the free today i didn't really record like the actual gym because there's a lot of people in there for the middle of the afternoon um and i didn't want to like get people's faces in there so i'm debating if i want to get chipotle the other day for like Maybe almost a month, I did not eat out. I maybe had Starbucks twice, but I had not ate out in almost a month since like July when I left Richmond. And the other day I had Chipotle. <sighs> had Chipotle for the first time in a month. Oh my gosh. Whew. It smacked. It really hit the spot. So I kind of want to go get Chipotle right now because I don't really feel like going home. I'm shaking a little bit because... Um, lost a lot of electrolytes I don't know. that gym is cool i don't really like the layout for real it's really tiny it's really small and the other water fountain always has the red on like the last time i went there the filter was also like a red button and i was like y'all are drinking i've noticed this at a lot of gyms like people just don't look at the button whether it's red whether it's green whether it's yellow they just keep filling their water and i'm like bro like this is not this is red red does not mean go up and fill your water red means stop Also go please with a tortilla on the side. Oh uh, white rice. Uh no beans, just chicken. Uh and queso, please. Do y'all remember when Chipotle was seven dollars? Those are some good times. This cost me $13.99, but I did also get a drink and a tortilla on the side. So we have our lovely Coke Zero. I don't know, this is a very huge drink. I used to have a Coke Zero every day with my dinner, with my turkey burger. Um, I recently stopped doing that, like last week, just cause 
soda, you shouldn't be drinking soda every day, no matter if it has your calories or sugar, whatever. But today I was feeling, I was feeling like I don't really put veggies in my bowl. If I'm gonna eat out, I'm eating good. So I got chicken, rice, queso, sour cream, cheese, and the hot sauce. Look at that. So yummy and delicious. Let's take our first bite together. Still hot. Whew. That doesn't look healthy at all, does it? Do not care. Cough is cool and all. Cough is healthier. Chipotle, though, it's gonna hit every time. Who's topping Chipotle? Authentic Mexican cuisine? Possibly. <laughs> when I was living in Richmond, I was eating out probably like once a week. I would have my cheat meal on Sunday. It would be the same thing. Wings from uh, the Cocky Rooster or it'd be Chipotle. Every once in a while it would be Cava, but I would only eat out once a week. But since I haven't, since I stopped doing that, like I don't eat out as much. I just eat to stick in the same exact things as, you'll, as you saw in my what I eat in a day. I appreciate this so much more. Alright, in the grocery store now. I'm just getting literally two or three things. Oh! Getting the cinnamon raisin remix bagels. I wanted to get the bagels from Whole Foods, but they didn't have it. Or the Whole Foods wasn't open. And then I'm gonna get some coffee creamer as well. Got my little reusable bag with me because I love the environment as I buy something that's going to be wrapped in plastic. I get the Chobani non-dairy caramel macchiato one. And I'm also going to get... these... La Colombe coffee. Um, sometimes I like to drink them when I have like a long drive or something and I don't want to bring like a tumbler. I really like them. They're not as much coffee as like Javi or like Kiri, but they do the job. We needed to get a few quick things really and I'm about to head home. I'm back at home now. I'm a bit of a sweaty mess. I'm about to go take a shower and then have my coffee. It's Almost five o'clock, but I'm going to have a coffee regardless. I just want to sit down, be on my computer, have a nice little cup of coffee. That's all I want. Thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you want some more workout inspo, if you want to stay updated with me, you can follow me on my other socials. I'll leave them here and I'll leave them in the description below. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and join my little YouTube community on here. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you on the next video.